Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? How was your Monday? Busy, tired, stressful. I am happy teacher. Oh, you have a happy Monday. Excellent. And the weekend? Were you busy on the weekend? No. Okay, so you have a good day uh, and a good week and you rest. Thank you, Miss. Okay, so thank you for being on time. Um, for today, we're going to start the contents on section number two. It is related to health problems. So meanwhile, the rest is joining. We're going to go ahead and check the vocabulary that we have. And let me share my screen with you. Okay, this is how we start the section number two. The topic is, it really works. So to begin, we're going to check this vocabulary. And then we're going to put it into practice. Let's check what we have here. And this is also in the platform, remember. Okay, common health complaints. A headache. A backache. Sore muscles. A stomachache. A cold. A cough. The flu, insomnia. Is there any question about this vocabulary? Something which is not really clear? Teacher, what is the meaning of flu? Uh, flu. Uh, the flu is la, uh, digamos, la gripe. Y a cold, si lo comparamos, porque ajá, esto puede ser un poquito como decir, um, ok, este señor está en cama ahí con un maybe termómetro. Yes, este flu es como la, la, la gripe fuerte, ya con todo, con fiebre, con tos, con estornudo, dolor de cabeza, de cuerpo, etc. Mm, mocos, tos, de todo. Y un resfriado, a cold, digamos que es más leve, el resfriado. So that's the difference. It cough, cough is namas tos, cough. Any other question? Any question? Not more question? Okay. The number one. Uh, number one, a headache. Yes. How do you say in Spanish? Headache. Uh, dolor de cabeza. No, okay. Any other question? Okay, let's repeat one more time. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia, Have you had yes. any of this recently? I have a question. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, what is the pronunciation, pronunciation from uh, sore mus muscular? Sore muscles. Sore, sore muscle. muscles. Sore muscle. This. Muscles, como con A, no es U. Sore muscles. Entre A y U, so entre muscles. Sore muscle. Excellent, you got it. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Sore muscles. Like, uh, entre I, sore muscles. Sore muscles. Okay, good. Any other question? No question, teacher. Okay, now we have a conversation here. It's related to health problems. And then we're going to... Um, practice it. So let's listen first to the conversation and then you tell me if there is any um, new vocabulary or any new uh, word or pronunciation for this one. So let's listen. As you can see in the picture, there is a lady and there is a man. I think that the man is not having a good day. It really looks bad. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78. Exercise 2. Conversation. Health problems. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Chair, you have any questions? Teacher, mm -hmm. what does mean jack? Oh, that is just an expression. It doesn't have like a sex uh, translation because it's like when you say wakala. Yeah, it's just an expression uh -huh, similar to the one that we said in Spanish, like wakala. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there any other question? How do you say help, helpful? Yes, helpful. Helpful. Yes, helpful. In Spanish? Uh, it's like uh, de mucha ayuda, helpful. Okay, thank you. Muy útil, de mucha ayuda, helpful. Is there any other question? Awful is um, desagradable o oh. as, asqueroso. Desagradable. Yeah, horrible. Uh, awful. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Not sure. Okay, we're going to 
practice the pronunciation of this one. So try to, um, I'm going to pause the recording. This conversation and the audio is in the platform too. Um, so you can watch the video there. But the problem is that if I pause the video, then it gets started and, and it starts giving it some issues. So I'm going to play this and uh, I'm going to stop the recording after each interaction. You should repeat at home. And um, we're going to do with the microphones off because yes, yeah, some of us are having issues with the internet and so, um, let's do it with the microphone off. It, if you find any word that is difficult to pronounce, you can tell me after when we finish practicing this one. Remember that it is important to uh, put sometimes the word together as you listen. For example, here, um, it says uh, for it. So we don't say for it, for it. So you put it together. Um, let's chop up chop up, now, try it, try it. So put the words together as you hear. So let's pay attention and repeat. Unit 12, it really works. Page 78, exercise two, conversation. Health problems, part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. How was it? Easy? Or did you Easy. find? What is the meaning of yuck? That is just an expression. It doesn't have a meaning. It is as when we say guacala in Spanish, it doesn't have a meaning. It's just an expression that you use when someone, where something, sorry, is not really delicious or you don't like it, the food, for example. Um, okay. mm -hmm. and, and awful, awful is, is the same. Awful has a meaning. When you say awful, you're referring to something as disgusting, not pleasant. Awful sí es como algo desagradable o uh -huh, uh, asqueroso en este caso la comida. So, uh -huh, esa sí tiene uh, trans traducción, pero uh, yuck es Es solo una expresión, como decir guacala para nosotros, para ellos es ya. Uh, or they have another example. Yeah, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Y yes, okay. awful sí es okay. un adjetivo, sí significa desagradable o asqueroso si es comida. Uh -huh. 
Okay, Miss, I understood. Okay, good. Any other question? Uh, teacher, la pronunciación de for it es como una sola expresión. Uh -huh. Put it together, for it. For it. Have you uh -huh. taken anything for it? For it. Ajá, en lo que les decía, traten de poner juntos porque um, por eso es que de repente decimos que los americanos hablan muy rápido. Es porque ellos uh -huh. hacen, ellos link, ellos unen las palabras. Entonces uh -huh. nosotros en español tenemos la costumbre de leer palabra por palabra. Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. por eso les recomiendo que traten de hacerlo igual como lo escuchan. Por ejemplo aquí, eh, qué bueno que usted notó que suena como una sola cosa y es por eso, porque uh -huh. está unido. For it. Have Boy. you taken anything for it? Igual mm -hmm. aquí, try it. So, uh -huh, try it. También le crees. Uh -huh. Try Just it. Try it. I, I. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Igual acá, él dice, um, I have, pero lo hace contractado. I have a okay. terrible cold. Si escuchamos otra vez, van a, van a darse cuenta que el have no suena completo, como, sino que uh -huh. suena como si lo contractó. I have a terrible cold. I have a third call. Lo vamos a escuchar de nuevo. Eh, listen. Um, vamos a, igual acá está, chop up. Chop up. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it. And cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. So, yes. Escuchar otra vez, practicar, y luego lo vamos a hacer en grupos. Ok. Mm -hmm. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, Exercise 2, Conversation. Health Problems. Part A. Listen and Practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck! That sounds awful. Okay, is there any other question before we move to breakout rooms? Um, teacher, mm -hmm. um, ¿qué significa shop up? Shop up es picar. Mm -hmm. Picar, eh, cuando hacemos trocitos las cosas, ya, yeah, chop. Ese es el verbo chop up. Uh -huh. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, la expresión, esa expresión donde dice, it really works. Realmente funciona. Como quien dice, ajá, eso, ajá. Es una expresión, ¿verdad? It really It works. works. Uh -huh. Eso okay. realmente funciona. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question?
Okay, so we're going to move to breakout rooms to practice this conversation. Remember to role play as many times as possible so that we can take advantage of the opportunity of working on interacting with our classmates. Okay. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Este. Hello. Good Compartimos. Good evening. Hoy no puedo compartir yo. Sino con gusto. Vale, lo voy a compartir yo entonces. Pero no tengo uh -huh. que... Thank you. Aquí está. Sí, se ve, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Yes. Somos siete ahorita. No sé si vamos de dos en dos o... O de tres en tres, no sé. Siete. Tres, cuatro. Con la teacher. Ah, pues somos seis, entonces de dos en dos. Sí, okay. usted comienza con seis. Eh, comienzo ¿Y? yo con... ¿Con quién? With me. Ok. Oh, ok, voy a ser John. Hi, great. Me, great. Ok, yes. Not Hi, so great. Good. Mm -hmm. Not so good. I a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You, uh, you should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it sometimes helps helpful to eat garlic soap, uh, just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in, in chicken stock, try it, it really works. Jack, that sounds awful. Okay, le damos vuelta y siguen los otros dos. Okay. Nidia, José, Ruth, no veo quién más. Eh, ¿Con quién me tocaría? Me, Jasmine. Ok. Hi, Crane, how are you? No, so good. I have a terrible cold. Uh, really, that's too bad. You should be at home in in bed. It is really important uh, to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you are right. And you have to take anything for it? No, I haven't. Se llama, se llama Edson Stanley. Edson. Ajá, sí. Ah, va. Perfecto. Vaya. Entonces vale, iniciaría. A ver. Usted. Eh, I am Greg and you are Johan. Mm -hmm. va, ok. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have. I 
a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And how about you taking anything for it? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop out a whole head of garlic and cook. Eating chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Junk, that's on awful. Bye. Ahora, David y Amilcar. Okay. Okay, my internet is, uh, works a little bad. It's possible. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? Uh, not so good. I have a target at home. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Chuck, uh, that's an outfit. Vaya. Hey, Elena, suerte Elena, pero no sé si nos escucha. Elena, hi. No, no me escucha. Bueno, entonces hagamos ahora la, el, el, hagamos el switch, el cambio de, de. Yo, en ese, bueno, en ese caso, Fernando, usted sería Joan y yo sería, bueno. Ah, no, no. Ajá, sí, sí. Ajá, Joan y yo sería Craig. Hi, Greg. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's so. That's too bad. You should to be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and I have to take in anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a wool head of garlic and cook it in chicken stone. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Bye. Hoy, oh, Mr. Davy y Mr. Amilcar Camerianos. Roll the okay. papel. David. I'm Hi, Craig. Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home. It's bad. It's really important to get up a lot of threats. Yeah, you're right. Um, have you taken any for it? No, I haven't. Uh, well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. You cut chuck up a uh, whole well, uh, head of garlic and cook in the chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Yo creo que ya nos está sacando para la sala principal. Ok, see you soon.
Okay, let's wait for the rest to join us. And I heard some of you practicing, you were uh, taking advantage of the time and the opportunity of working with, uh, interact with your classmates, which was really, really good. So just waiting for everybody to get in. And then we're going to check attendance. Remember to turn on your cameras if it's possible and the say present as soon as you hear your name. After that, we're going to go to watch the video in the platform where the grammar spots come to be explained, the grammar for today's aid. So let's begin. Just let me get the file. Oh, here you are. Amilcar Edgardo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Angelica Yamilet. Present me. Thank you, Angelica. Celia del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Celia. David Alberto. Present me. Thank you, David. Edson Stanley. Present teacher. Thank you, Edson. Elena Noemi. Elena Noemi Chorro. Elvira Lorenza Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvira. Fernando Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Elena Ventura. Iris Elena Ventura. Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Daniel Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Jose Fernando Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Karen Stephanie Fuentes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. teacher. Elena escribió en el chat. Elena. Yes. Elena Noemi. Thank you so much. Carla Selena Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Carla Yasmin López. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Catherine Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Oscar Alejandro. Present coach. Thank you so much. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Ruth Noemi. Present. Thank you, Ruth. Samuel Isaac. Present. Thank you, Samuel. Jancy Astri. Uh, here, teacher. Thank you, Jancy. Okay. Now, uh, let me share the video with you. So uh, in this one, we are going to check the grammar focus for this uh, lesson. So let's watch the video together and then you tell me if there is any question about this or if it's something not really clear. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. 
Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. Any question about the video? No question? Is this clear? More or less, teacher. More or less, all right. Why is not completely clear? I'm going to give an extra explanation. Okay, I know the grammar sometimes is kind of uh, difficult. So in this video, what you saw is that infinitives are used to give advice or suggestions. Okay, cuando vamos a dar un consejo o una sugerencia, eh, es una forma de en la cual se utilizan los infinitivos. Entonces, a veces decimos como que es un infinitivo. Un infinitivo es el verbo y en este caso le vamos a anteponer to. Vamos a poner to y después el verbo. Y el verbo se utiliza sin conjugarlo. Significa que si el verbo es ser o estar, vamos a poner be. No vamos a poner am, no vamos a poner is, no vamos a poner are. El verbo no se conjuga, se deja en forma simple. Así sea tercera persona, no importa. No le vamos a agregar S ni ES al verbo. Ni lo vamos a poner en pasado tampoco. El verbo se queda en forma simple. No se conjuga. Y eso es un infinitivo. Y aquí pues lo vamos a estar utilizando después de, de un adjetivo. Como por ejemplo, important, helpful. So, en el grammar tienen la pregunta, what should I do for a cold? ¿Qué debería de hacer yo para un resfriado? What should I do for a cold? Entonces ya vamos a darle una sugerencia. It's important, y aquí va el infinitivo, to get a lot of rest. It is sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup que es el infinitivo to eat. So important es the adjective, helpful es un adjective también y luego estamos usando el infinitivo para dar el consejo. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. No sé si hoy ya queda un poco más claro. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes, my answer. Okay. So now we're going to practice it. Ahora lo vamos a practicar. Um, con... Richard, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, todos los verbos se conjugan en infinitivo. Eh, todos se quedan hacer... Ajá, se en puede... infinitivo. O sea, cuando se... O sea, no hay una excepción en la regla, sino que todos no. sin excepción se pueden hacer así infinitivo. Todos los verbos... Eh, Todos en su totalidad eh, pueden tomar forma de infinitivo. Todos. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Any other question? Los infinitivos tienen varios usos. En este caso lo estamos utilizando para dar consejo. Lo, un infinitivo también puede ser cuando vamos a iniciar la oración con un verbo. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero iniciar la oración con fumar, para decir fumar es malo para tu salud, entonces eh, al empezar la oración con el verbo, tengo que hacerlo con el infinitivo. El verbo es fumar, pero tengo que agregarle el to para hacerlo infinitivo. Y ya digo, to smoke is bad for your health. 
Ese es otro uso que ellos tienen, así como información adicional. Pero ahorita sí lo vamos a estar utilizando para dar consejos. Y como les decía, la palabra consejo es advice. Y esta no tiene plural en inglés. Advice no tiene plural. Entonces no podemos decir give me some advices. That is incorrect. Entonces, si es más de un consejo, vamos a dar dos, tres, qué sé yo, cuántas sugerencias, cuántas consejos. Entonces, le agregamos la palabra pieces, así como ven acá. Pieces of advice. Pieces of advice. Can you give me some pieces of advice? I have this problem. Dame algunos consejos. So, some pieces of advice. Pero no podemos decir give me some advices. That is incorrect. All right. So, miss, um, miss yes. El, el infinitivo es simplemente tú. Más el verbo. Ah, y ya cuando tiene tú y el verbo, eso sería infinitivo. A eso se le llama infinitivo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Any other question? Ross, oh. infinitive, no, los infinitive. Teacher, mm -hmm. suggest is the same advice. Uh, advice, si lo queremos llevar como al español, sería consejo. Y suggest, sugerir. Sugerir, okay. sugerencia. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, so let's look at the problems column. We have a sore throat, a cough, a backache, a fever, a toothache, a bad headache, a burn, the flu. Then in the advice column, we have take some vitamin C, put some ointment on it, drink lots of liquids, go to bed and rest, put a heating pad on it, put it under cold water, take some aspirin, See a dentist, see a doctor, get some medicine. Yes. Questions about this? Yes. Mm -hmm. To take some. Mm. <laughs> la... Letter A, to take. Some, some vitamin C. Vitamin C, vitamina C. Tomar un poco de vitamina C o algo de vitamina C. To take some vitamin C. Any other question? Um, letter B. Letter yes, B. Letter B. The letter B, put some ointment. On it. Ointment is, is refer a ungüento. Mm -hmm. Ungüento. Pon, poner un poco de ungüento sobre él o sobre ello. Put some ointment on it. Any other? Letter E, the advice. Put a hidden pad on it. Pon un eh, pad es, um, ¿cómo se los? Uh, a hidden pad es una, como unas bolsitas que usted las puede poner, ya sea dependiendo de la necesidad. Si usted necesita poner como algo helado sobre un músculo, sobre un golpe, entonces pone el heating pad en la refri. Es como una bolsita, como una almohadita. 
O si lo necesita caliente, lo pone en agua hirviendo. Ahí mete el pad en la bolsita y luego se la pone donde lo necesita. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. The pronunciation, the number six, about he, he About headache. Headache. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Any other? Uh, teacher, teacher uh, the number seven, a uh, burn in Spanish. A uh, burn, a uh, quemadura. Burn es quemadura. Okay, thanks. Teacher, can I choose more of one advice? Yes, you can choose more than one and you can add extra so for example if i said hey i have a sore throat what i need you to do um is to provide advice using this structure and, and say uh, i have a sore throat and you said um it is important to drink lots of liquids probably and uh, what else can apply here um it's a good idea to see a doctor and you can also say um it's sometimes helpful to drink ginger tea aquí no está beber té de jengibre pero podemos agregar algo extra puede ser a uh, ginger tea for a sore throat that can work and the idea is to use this structure it's a good idea to do this and this and that. It's sometimes helpful too. It's important to plus the verb. This is what we're going to do. And we're going to make it in groups. Lo vamos a hacer en grupos. Eh, recuerden poner, lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno. Si eso les sale más fácil en grupo, pensar y escribir las ideas. Ok, ¿qué hacemos para un short throat? Y a usar la estructura. Uh, for a short throat, it's important to... Or it's a good idea to see a doctor, todas las que aplican de la lista, y luego poner alguna extra que no esté ahí, que pueda aplicar. Uh, any question? No question. No question, teacher. Okay, remember to work in groups, and you can do it in your notebook, take notes, or in a Word document. You can open up a Word document, and work from Miss, there as, as you find it easier. Yes, Fernando? Uh, if I have this book, this, this book is interchange for edition. Uh -huh. O sea, si tengo el libro, no, no necesito escribirlo. You can work in the book as well. Uh -huh. Pueden trabajar si han impreso el material, si tienen el libro, o si um, tienen la presentación o si no tienen nada de eso, pueden trabajar en el cuaderno. Ok, Miss. Ok. Hello. Who share a screen? Alguien que la pueda compartir. Ahí sí, esa sí no la puedo compartir. Me too. Solo voy a escuchar lo que van a hacer porque todavía voy manejando para la casa. Ok. ¿Quién puede compartir la pantalla? Yo no puedo. Me he aprendido. Ahí. Pero está, está en la plataforma, ¿no? No, ¿verdad? Sí. 
Ahí está la plataforma. Eh, no, no está todo, pero... Ya no está. No está todo, pero sí está la mayoría. Este que vamos a contestar no está. No. Para, no. Eh, sí, ahí va, ahí está una parte, pero veo que ahí en lo que compartió la teacher es, hay más. Pero sí, hay una parte en la plataforma. Yo no puedo compartir, lo compartiera con de la presentación que dio la teacher, pero no tengo problemas con mi teléfono. Sí, la verdad que a mí no me, o sea, no quise descargar si quiere, el PowerPoint, pero si no quiere. me salió. Ah, que a mí tampoco. Si quiere, veámoslo todos en el teléfono y vamos contestando. Así, es, damos opiniones. Ajá, sí, es por lo que yo, el PowerPoint, no, no, no sé por qué no se me pudo descargar. Lo que necesitan compartir es lo que mandó en la presentación. Uh -huh. Sí, lo que mandó en la Ajá, sí. Lo que mandó en WhatsApp, es que eso lo mandó en WhatsApp, eso sí no puedo ir. Ok, sí, es que yo ahorita voy a un en movimiento, pero me, voy a ver cómo los, los comparto. O ya lo va a compartir alguien ahí. No. Quiero ver no, si no, puedo. No. Ahí. Este es verdad. Este sí. Sí, ese. Okay, no sé si logran ver. Mm, no, casi no. <risa> sí, se logra ver. Yo sí. Uy, uy, pero... oh, se no sé si logran identificar lo que dice. <risa> Okay. Ahí no puede escribir no. usted, no. No sé si lo ve. No sé Bueno, si no, ahí tal vez van viendo en su celular, tal vez les aparece. Uh -huh. Sí, si lo estoy viendo. Ah, bueno. Sí, aquí lo vi. La, prim la primera creo que ya la habían contestado. ¿no? Vale, lo que tenemos que hacer mismo era como agregar, ¿verdad? Ajá, si queríamos agregarle, le podíamos agregar ahí algo extra. Uh -huh. What should you do for a taste? Taste some aspirin. Cheese, yeah. Okay. Taste drinks aspirin. a lot of cheese. Uh, y la sed, drink us, uh, algunos líquidos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dolor liquid. Sí. Para el dolor de dientes, um, sí, ¿verdad? Cinco. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería uh, visitar al doctor. Sí, al doctor. A dentist. A valenti dentista. Ajá, al dentista. Al dentista. Ok. Ah, para el dolor de cabeza. Sí. ¿O qué significa paz? Sí, al doctor. Sí, a doctor, Ajá, sí, I a think. Doctor. Uh, I, sí, a doctor. Sí, a doctor, yes. And go to bed and rest? Yes. Bor, bor, uh, I think, put ointment. Ointment on, on it. Oh, my for and the Lord. F. Um, mm -hmm. Put it oh, on yeah. your cold water. 
Maybe. Creo que estaría atacando lo contrario de lo caliente. The flu. The flu. The flu para the la flu. gripe. Algunos medicamentos. Go Get to some bed medicine. and rest. Take, take some rest. vitamin. Take vitamin some vitamin C. Yes. Uh -huh. Let it be eh, the poop song on on cuento dijo que era Oy, eso ointment ointment ajá ointment ointment out oh the la number la number two de the couch es también poner no sé en el pecho no, nuestras madres nos pone así que put a song ointment on it Ointment. Uh -huh. Es como vita, vi, 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 ¿Cómo se dice? Big vi, vi, Vaporú. Big sí, Vaporú. Uh -huh. Ajá. Un cuento. Yep. Sí, es un cuento. Ok. So, can you take a screenshot? The guard and then the principal screen is no screenshot. Yeah, okay, thank you. Then for the vice. Okay, let's listen to a volunteer. What do you have or what do you suggest for a sore throat? A volunteer? To see me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Joanna? To take some vi vitamin. Come on, I was like, vitamin? Okay, so you vitamin say, C. it's helpful to take some vitamin C. Okay, very good. Anything else? Or just one thing? Letter C, okay. teacher. Uh -huh. To drink a lot of liquid. Okay, it's a good idea probably to drink lots of liquids. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other suggestion? But yo teacher. Okay, Celia. La bache pienso que era la la e. Sí. ¿Y? Well, sí, yeah. Es It's a good idea. Okay. Ah, no, 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 la G es taking some aspirin. Ah, um, okay, it's a good idea to take some aspirin. Uh -huh. That can work too. Puede ser bien también. All right, what do you have for a cough? Volunteers, a cough. Put some, put some ointment on it. Okay, like that. for a cough. But I don't, yes. cough is tos. Yes, because my mom put it in my, my chest. Ah, it's a good <laughs> idea yeah. to put some. For example, of something like that. I don't know, with the mom, with natural. Ah, yes. Almond, Big right. pepper. You know? <laughs> yes, it's yes, an ointment. Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. That can work. Another yeah. suggestion or, or advice? Hmm. Um, I miss you till uh, call is uh, well, to get some medicine to get some or, medicine mm -hmm. uh -huh. or um, um, 
Jarabe, no sé cómo se dice. Syrup. Syrup. Ajá, uh -huh. to drink well, maybe cool. some cough A syrup. Mm -hmm. Ahí se los escribí en la meeting chat. Y así es para la tos, solo se le agrega antes cough. Cough syrup. Okay. Puede ser el literal set, teacher? Yes. Tomar sí. muchos líquidos. Yes, it may apply as well. It's a good idea to drink a lot of liquids. So thank you so much for being here, for being on time and your participation. I hope that you sleep well and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. 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 Good night,